hey guys so i might be whispering but i just um actually i thought i was going to the ob first but i went up there to sign in and he said to go downstairs so i went downstairs to the lab to um get my sugar drink i picked the orange one all that was orange in line but everyone always recommended the orange one so i went by that and they say drink it within five minutes and then um I drank it, it was fine. I think a lot of people over exaggerated how gross it was. I just kinda gulped it. It wasn't like, oh yummy, it wasn't oh off. It was just like a regular s drink. Kinda reminded me of um, Orange Crush, but just more diluted, even though it's just straight with sugar, but it wasn't overwhelming. But then again, I'm hungry. <laughs> All I had is water this morning, a bottle of water. So now I'm back in my OB, getting seen, getting checked, and um, now I am 195, so I'm gonna see my heartbeat here, baby's heartbeat. <laughs> I can't talk. I feel fine. I think the sugar just helped me because I felt like I was having low sugar because I'm not eating and eating early yesterday and not snacking on anything else after that. Yeah. I'm excited to hear baby's heartbeat. The end. I've never been in this room before. I wore a t-shirt today because I feel like it. See, it's my belly. Yeah. Alright, getting ready to get my blood work. It's 10.35 in like 5 minutes. I'm just walking across from the hospital, going to Walgreens and put some money and get ready because I'm hungry. If the weather could do this every single day, that would be really perfect. Nice breeze out today. Yep. There's a food truck coming out piece of truck or something but I think I had last time and it was not that good so I was gonna see my area hopefully you guys can hear me I don't know I'm already like having I'm out of breath walking up that hill see you guys later so this is one of my first shipment in the mail from Cali Hey guys, so today is the 13th and I had my glucose test yesterday, the one hour one. Um, I picked the orange flavor one and um, took it, came back in an hour, took my blood test and I called today for my results and I did not pass. I kind of figure I wouldn't have passed that's because I'm obese and I've been eating a lot lately so I'm kind of bummed out and just having an awkward day at work same shit don't even want to get into it um I don't know just hearing that news made me feel so blah and stressed and worried so tomorrow I'm doing a two hour one so last time I ate was like at 7 o'clock a hot dog and some pretzel bites which is bad anyway but I would probably have gestational diabetes go figure I'm not taking care of myself much but everything else in my blood work was normal they checked for syphilis again they checked for um, my iron levels if I'm taking enough iron and anemia all great besides that so but anyway I was only like five points off I can't remember what the range was, but five points. And I'm feeling hungry. Just drinking water. I was even afraid to drink water, but they say you could drink water. I Google too. Just can't eat tomorrow until the thing's over. And it's two hours. And I bought some stuff today. Um, I'm really tired right now, if you can tell. Um... Got some washcloths for baby at Walmart. Got another one also with different patterns, different colors. And 
Got some must needs for baby. Um, they had to buy one get one fifty percent off at Baby's R Us. Um, pink of course. A brush set, so cute. I don't know about this one, but I'll use this one here. This is soft and cute, so we'll see. And I don't know what baby's hair is gonna be like. Hence, baby daddy is half black, half white, and I'm Asian. But who knows? Um. And then ear thermometer. Yay. And that is about it. Um Yeah, I found which um diaper bag I want, except I can't decide which pattern I want and which make. It's the same brand called um Skip Hop. It's lovely. I actually went to go see it in person. I almost wanted to order online, but I was like, look at it, feel it, touch it, wear it, and yeah. But it's just so hard to decide. There's a special edition one that looks more like a regular bag and very sophisticated, except the strap is just a regular side messenger bag strap, but the regular edition... Um, looks more diaper baggy, but still stylish, but on the strap, it has the the cushion thing on top, and it's, I had it on me. It's so comfortable, and that's good considering I'll put stuff in there, and that's going to be my hospital bag, too. And so many patterns. The one that's been so popular, everybody like, when I actually saw it in person, it just wasn't... Standing out, it's it looked so dull and just like blah compared to the ones that I thought wouldn't look good, actually stood out. So I will probably if tomorrow, maybe later, um, I will make another vi video showing you guys the patterns and which ones I'm talking about, and maybe have you guys decide for me. So I also at Babes R Us, I pushed. I'm sorry, breath. I'm tired. I pushed strollers again. Um, the one that I've been putting on hold at Walmart checkout online, I haven't ordered that yet just because I want to make sure because it's a pricey investment. Um, I decided I will take that one because I pushed those very comfortable. It's very lightweight. It's big, but it's not bulky. And it's cute. And um, I'm still in the middle of the pack and play, which I will show you guys later too. One is this all black, but has all the features. The other one is girly, has the flower pattern, but just missing one feature and it's like $10 more expensive. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I'll show you that too, so you guys can help me pick. So bag and um, pack and play. And um, I pretty much spent like 300 bucks at Walmart buying cleaning supplies, only a few things for baby. My personal stuff pens. I bought some PJs just because I can't fit into shit. I might as well show you. It, it, I went to the Walmart in another city where I used to work at a richer area. So richer areas always got better looking Walmarts and more variety of nice outfits. Because the one in my area in the hood, there ain't shit. But anyway, I'll show you this in another video. But it's like a tank top um, with short set you guys are going to see this i'll show you another video but i can't fit into anything all my shorts i had before i had for years and years from like old navy whatever it's tied threw them away like a month ago <coughs> it was stained it was raggedy and i figured i need new ones so i bought two sets um one is like a purple with hearts and butterflies and other ones it's green stripes and white flowers so this is it um so today's video vlog including yesterday so yeah i'm just bummed out and out of it and just really moody mom work and i'm just, I'm just tired and i broke down crying on the way home from my shopping from walmart and baby's rs because after not having any contact with baby daddy i don't know why he disappeared for a month texted me asked if he's checking up on me and if I'm okay and I I just don't plan on answering him I just can't do it because it's not fair because 
I'm the one that's going through this. Like, he doesn't realize I have to go through crap at work. Crap with my parents. Everything on my own. Carrying bags by myself. Lifting things by myself. No emotional support. A.K.A. right now. So what makes him think that when Ava comes out, I'm going to let him touch my daughter? Yeah. He wasn't there. It's, it's, it's his. and I'm going to stop now. So um, everybody have a good night. I'm glad tomorrow's Friday. This week we'll be spending lots of money. I'm getting my car detailed for good. Hopefully this, this one company... We'll do the job and um, pretty pricey than where I did before and it had really good ratings. He's, it's a part company and they're actually driving to my place and vacuum cleaning, detailing inside and getting all the grime and shit. Let's just say it's, it's, it's uh, like almost 200, but it's get over with so then I can put my um bay one board sign in the car and feel comfortable with people riding my car because I've been avoiding people not like I go out with people in a way but it's just it's so messy and dirty and that's because of being lazy and being depressed and just blah and then my bed there's still bugs and shit and I can't get rid of them and they're biting the shit out of me and I'm gonna attempt to clean really 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 good this weekend and I bought cleaning supplies and stuff. I bought new bedding, which I'm have not brought to the house, and I just want my baby to be safe. Like I feel like this dirty ass person, but I don't know where it came from, how it got here. But of course, my mom blames me for being dirty. I've been dirty for years. I have messy rooms. I've never had bed bugs, and I just don't know when it started or how it came in. But of course, I get blamed for it. <sighs> And I'm exhausted. Alright guys, um I am going to um upload all the footages from my iPhone, so there you go. Love you guys, bye.